Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. I've got the camera going. I've got a pair of gloves and that could only mean one thing. It's CGC announcement time. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortbox app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app for both Apple and Android users. Download it today, check out the app. It's incredible to browse around such amazing books and start shopping today. About five hours ago, CGC posted that their modern tier submission turnaround time has improved. So as you can see here, the 35 day is for modern tier regular submissions and then modern fast track is down to 11 days and that's like expedited time. I've paid over $100 to get that turnaround time from CGC. And I notice a lot of the comments are trolling. A lot of comments are talking about some of the controversies recently with them and whatnot with them and grading some of the acetate books. But I'm pretty excited. I mean, this is something that we've complained that their turnaround time is something that we've complained about or had a hard time swallowing that pill for a long time. So I said, if you could fix your turnaround time, my goodness, it would be amazing. So this 11 days does not account for how long it sits in the, the receiving or the warehouse before it's opened and entered into the system. Hopefully that's also improved. I don't want my book sitting there for two months and then it's an 11 day turnaround. So I fully expect if I send these off to my presser that I should get these back mid-September. Really, really hopeful for that. Uh, maybe take a week or two at my presser and then 11 business days at CGC. So I'm really hopeful for that. That's why I've got the gloves. I'm going to be taking a look at five books here, uh, five modern books. We're going to be sending them first to He's Got Freaking Issues to press them. And then we're going to be sending them off to CGC at that modern fast track and I'll report back to you guys if 11 days is something that you can really expect, or is it two months in receiving and then 11 business days after that, we will see. I love fast turnarounds on CGC. I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna troll. It's like, thank you CGC, I want this. I think a lot of people want this. Let's start looking at these books and see what kind of grades I would expect on some of these, at least how they sit right now. But the first book up is from 2006. And it is a second print book. And this is an amazing cover. If you guys have never seen this, it's, it's really, really great. It's got a few little indents that I need to show you guys. But this is Justice Number 5 by Alex Ross. And this cover is fantastic. There's a whole bunch of these covers that were like the second prints. It's the only things I see right now on this book are a little non-color breaking tick right up here, a little non-color breaking tick right here as well. So there's two non-color breaking ticks that will come out with pressing. The cover is very, very smooth. And then there are some, let me see. Do you see right by his leg? All right, here. There are a few indents. You can barely see them. There you can see them. Those can probably come out with pressing. And I'm really excited about this. Let me check the back. You got to always check the back. Now, this is a dark cover on the back. So there's a lot of opportunity. This is a dark cover on the back. So there's a lot of opportunities for this to have errors that would decrease the grade. But this one has absolutely nothing that would decrease the grade. I would just want, oh, excuse me. There's a little bit of a, I just saw it there in the light. That can come out with pressing. There's no color breaks there. I would just want a once over from he's got freaking issues on just cleaning it making sure there's no fingerprints or anything like that but great great book i would fully expect that this would be a nine eight after all those things are pressed out the backs pressed out and then these few dents on the front are pressed out fully expect a nine eight all right i got the rest of these books at box seat cards and collectibles in champaign illinois the home of the university of illinois the fighting illini and the first one is Batgirl number 12. I've submitted this book before, not this particular issue, but Batgirl 12, this really, really great art germ. This is how I found out about art germ all the way back in 2010. And there's a little indent up there that's going to be fixed. There's really nothing wrong on the front. Uh, there's really nothing wrong on the back. This is a contender at a 9.8, really hoping for a 9.8. If I get a 9.6, understandable, but 9.8 all day long uh, is what I'm thinking that that one could be. Next one up is a really hard to find. I've never found um, Brian Boland variants. This is for Zatanna. Number one, this is the Brian Bolin pre new 52 variant. Very, very nice book. Nothing wrong on front. A few non-color breaking spine ticks as you can see there from the light. 
that really need to be pressed out. There's one, two really minimal uh, ticks there. What you're seeing there is just light reflecting off of that, which is making it look color breaking. They're really not color breaking at all. So those need to be pressed out. And this one could maybe benefit from a little bit of a cleaning on the front, but this is a great, great looking book. Also would consider this after pressing to be a 9.8 candidate. I'm really excited about this one. There is one little t tick on this one that needs to be pressed out. And so this is the Black Widow variant, and it's the nice photo variant. The back is also white. So this is very easy to press, no color breaks. I'm anticipating this one to be a 9.8 as well. Beautiful, beautiful condition cover. I just think this one is fantastic. Just a once over by He's Got Freaking Issues. Press this baby out, and I think it's 9.8 candidate. All right, and the last one is also a very, very beautiful copy. I think I got this one from STL actually. Yes, STL Comics in St. Louis. Beautiful shop, great shop, love it there. And this is Uncanny Avengers, the Addy Granoff variant. This is very, very nice front cover really, really spotless. Let me check this over here on this side. Yep, just a little bit of a spine tick there. And on the back, it's just a really, really nice back cover as well. Corners are looking wonderful. This one, I would love a 9.8 on. I think it is a 9.8 candidate. Look at there. You can see the light showing a small bend there. So it's a good thing we're seeing those things now. I think those things can be pressed out. There's no color breaking up here on this going to have the light reflect off it again. And we'll see. I can't really get it. There we go. There's that crease right up there by the S. So we're going to get that pressed out by He's Got Freaking Issues. And a little tick right here that I think we can get pressed out and make this baby look good. I think it is a contender for a 9.8, but... 9.6 would also be just fine. But like I said, we're going to get these babies pressed out and hopefully get a 9.8 on that. So that's it, you guys. Hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm super excited to send out um, another CGC submission. CGC saying that it's 11 day for modern fast track. Going to get these out as quick as possible. Really hope they do turn it around fast. If they do, I'll be sending in more books. I love their service. I love their product. If these come back good, and in an acceptable amount of time, I'll be very, very pleased. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. You guys hit a thumbs up. Would love to see over 250 thumbs up on this video and comment down below. Are you gonna be using CGC? Are you gonna be sending more books to CGC? I know they've rubbed people in the wrong way. So what's your thoughts? Are you gonna be using them or not? Hopefully we'll have a good, healthy discussion in the comments and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.